Welcome, Wastelanders, to a curated collection of 12 absolute must-have Fallout 4 mods. From enhanced visuals to gameplay tweaks, we've got you covered. Let's dive in. First up, we have the Flicker Fixer Exofide. This mod addresses most of the flickering issues occurring in the Boston and Cambridge areas. Flickering, also known as Z-fighting, is a graphical glitch that happens when two planes try to occupy the same space. This mod includes 90 out of the 133 meshes from Glass 1411's original Flicker Fixer, and Exoclipse has painstakingly recreated the remaining 45 meshes from scratch to address collision issues from the previous Flicker Fixer version. It presents a great opportunity to resolve flickering in the Boston and Cambridge areas. Next up is the MW2022 Carrick 300. This mod introduces the semi-automatic sniper rifle featured in Modern Warfare 2022. It boasts a blend of wood and steel, allowing for high firing rates and stable aiming even while on the move. The Carrick 300 offers various customization options and comes with patches compatible with see-through scopes and tactical reload. Additionally, it provides patches for compatibility with fake-through scopes and allows you to acquire the rifle from enemies or traders starting at level 20. For an even more intense auditory experience, consider using the Carrick 300 Sound Overhaul mod. Explore the versatility of the Carrick 300 firearms to the fullest. Next up is the First Person Dodge Actor Velocity Framework. This mod utilizes the Actor Velocity Framework, enabling players using keyboard controls to perform dodging movements in first-person perspective. Given the first-person view, it conveys a sensation more akin to instantaneous shifts in the direction of movement rather than detailed animations. It feels like a cyberpunk version of Sandivistan and has its own unique charm. This ability to evade attacks from opponents can prove beneficial in various situations. If it piques your interest, I recommend giving it a try. Next up is The Haunting. This mod introduces nocturnal creatures that emerge at night to attack the player. Upon installing the mod and traveling through the Commonwealth at night, a quest suddenly updates and creatures attack the player. After defeating the creatures and obtaining a crystal decanter, the quest updates again, leading to an NPC initiating a conversation with the player and further quest progression. Menacing beings like vampires and werewolves will ambush the player under the cover of darkness. These creatures are of boss level often requiring special attacks or items to defeat. The mod also incorporates a werewolf and vampire system. If the player becomes infected, they must provide sustenance every 24 hours. Each species comes with specific strengths and weaknesses. Upon becoming a werewolf, the player gains the ability curse of transforming into one during the night. Next up is the Varntorn. M41 Defense Turret. This mod allows you to install a tank with a turret mounted emplacement at your settlement. It is based on the Verntorn M41 Defense Turret, which recycles the turret from Sweden's STRV M41 tank. Equipped with a 37mm Bofors cannon, it boasts a design reminiscent of Fallout 76's gun emplacement turret, offering formidable firepower for your settlement. If you appreciate this military-style emplacement, give it a try. Now, let me introduce an outfit, the Boas Female Knight Armor. This mod redesigns the armor worn by Brotherhood of Steel Knights to fit female characters. It offers a range of colors and styles to choose from. Each partition provides a remarkably well-crafted design, adding parts to the base suit on both arms and legs. The creator of this outfit is Kim1983, the same individual who brought us the outfit from a previous video titled, The Institute Needs a Suit Like This. Doesn't this outfit have a fantastic design that suits Fallout 4 perfectly? Thanks to his creative efforts, there's a new wave of outfits sweeping through the Commonwealth, so it's worth keeping an eye on. As this outfit boasts an impressive design, be sure to check if there are already uploaded CBBE and Uniboo body slider patches available for reference. This time, I'll introduce three mods related to gameplay. First up is Sprint Overhaul. This mod operates with an F4C plugin and recalculates the AP cost for sprinting at the engine level. You can now sprint faster when weapons are holstered. The amount of AP consumed varies based on factors like the weight you're carrying, equipped gear, weapon condition, health, combat status, and even remaining AP. If you're injured or carrying a lot of weight, 
the distance you can sprint will significantly decrease. As AP decreases, the AP consumption increases linearly, making it harder to sprint before fully restoring AP. If you want to enhance your sprinting system, this mod will be helpful. Next is Friendly Fire. This enables NPCs to cause friendly fire. In the past, enemy projectiles only harm the player, but now explosives thrown by enemies will also harm their own allies. For instance, if a raider throws a Molotov, raiders near the player will also be affected. This mod adds a touch of realism to combat in Fallout 4. Finally, we have No Screenshot Messages. This is a simple F4C plugin that disables screenshot capture notifications that can potentially spoil your screenshots. Previously, a notification would pop up indicating where the screenshot was saved, but this plugin removes that message, allowing you to take screenshots without any interruptions. Now, you can take screenshots hassle-free without being bothered by messages. Next, let me introduce you to the handheld Geiger counter mod. This mod adds a Geiger counter that can be held and used in the game. The Geiger counter displays radiation levels in units per second. It also disables the sound of the vanilla Geiger counter and only plays the copied sound when the counter is equipped. Therefore, it's compatible with sound replacement mods. Next up, we have the Oppressor's Magnifying Glass Replacer. This mod swaps out the model and texture of the magnifying glass item. It offers options for 1K, 2K, and 4K textures, as well as versions for both dirty and old variants, allowing you to choose the desired option for installation. Lastly, let me introduce you to the Construction Barrier Remake mod. This mod essentially replaces the default construction barriers and sawhorses with new models and textures. It creates barriers and sawhorses with a vintage style, which pairs well with the vintage traffic cone mod. The mod offers texture options in both 1K and 4K, as well as color choices in red and orange. Enhance the textures of the Commonwealth with this beautiful addition. Thank you for joining me in this showcase of the 12 must-have new Fallout 4 mods. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting mod highlights. If there's a mod you'd like to see featured, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, wander the Commonwealth with these incredible additions and keep those adventures going strong. See you in the wasteland.